Hi, this is Tony Henderson Mayers, and I want to thank you for tuning in to Moments of Inspiration, Encouragement, and Prayer. And I know you may be thinking, well, you talk about romantic relationships. Yes, but I also talk about family, friendship, business relationships, relationships with yourself, God, and your money. And this series, Moments of Inspiration and Prayer, um, helps us to get a better relationship with God. And so I hope you enjoyed this portion of my Tony Henderson Mayers page. And without further ado, here is moments of inspiration, encouragement, and prayer. and every one of you. This is Tony Henderson Mayers, television, radio, relationship expert, author, and entrepreneur. I own Word Therapy Publishing and Alphabet Theater Workshop. But many of you know me as Wise Courtship because of my book with a three-step system. It will help you determine the true character and the true intent of your love interest. And this is moments of inspiration, encouragement, and prayer. And we come together to read over God's word and to um, pray for one another and of course, give you some encouragement as you go out of the door. I want to thank each and every one of you for watching and viewing me from your various platforms, whether you're on social media, television, podcast, radio. I want to thank you guys so very much for tuning in. And so today, um, we're still going to according to the same format, but we're going to pretty much just kind of read the scripture today and just go ahead and pray for your concerns live here on the air, okay? <laughs> I see so many people who are watching me via my website, which is www.wisecourtship.com. Let me see if I can put that up there for you. I want to thank you guys so much for doing that and joining my newsletter and all of those great things that you do to stay in contact with me. So I need to move my mic over a little bit. <laughs> okay, Donalds, well, we're going to go right ahead into the scripture. And um, I see some people trying to come into the chat box. Make sure you greet me and I will greet you too as well. And by the way, if you're watching me um, do, uh, via the various platforms like Twitch, like Periscope, um, Facebook, Twitter, um, there's so many platforms, YouTube or whatever, just give me a hey ho, say how you doing <laughs> and let me know that you are viewing. All right, so we're going to um, read a scripture about prayer on today. We're going to come from James 5, James 5, 13 through 18, James 5, 13 through 18. And it reads like this. Of course, I'm reading from the New International Version. And we're talking about the prayer of faith here. Uh, Is anyone among you in trouble? Let them pray. Is anyone happy? Let them sing songs of praise. Is anyone among you sick? Let them call the elders of the church to pray over them and anoint them with oil in the name of the Lord. And the prayer offered in faith will make the sick person well. The Lord will raise them up. If they have sinned, they will be forgiven. Therefore, confess your sins to each other and pray for each other so that you may be healed. The prayer of a righteous person is powerful and effective. Elijah was a human being, even as we are. He prayed earnestly that it would not rain, and it did not rain on the land for three and a half years. Again, he prayed, and the heavens gave rain, and the earth produced crops. So as we see here in the scripture, prayer is so extremely important, and so we want to make sure that we are always uh, praying for 
one another. And so I'm going to go ahead and pray. Um, I do have a few prayer requests here. Of course, we're praying still for the Jeffers family. Um, uh, Pastor Rodney Jeffers, uh, Malcolm Parker, um, of course, Simone Henderson Jeffers as well. The entire family, actually. Uh, we're praying for the Wise Courtship family, um, Tracy Miles and family, um, Judith, um, St. Um, Ar Arlene St. Pierre. We're praying for you too as well. And so, um, and, and then many, any others that may put uh, a prayer request up at that time, we're definitely going to be praying for you too. So I'm going to try to keep this near me just in case somebody posts a prayer um, while I am praying. But let's go before the Lord now in prayer, if you don't mind. Father God, in the name of Jesus, God, we bless you. We honor you. God, we lift you up. We magnify you. We recognize you for who and what you are. You are the maker and creator of all things. You are the alpha, the omega, the beginning and the end. You are God and you can do anything, oh God, but fail. So we come to you knowing that you are a rewarder of those who diligently seek you. We read the book of James, God, and we understand that if we come and pray to you, if we believe, oh God, if we touch in faith, if we need healing, oh God, if we are happy, if we're in trouble, we ought to come to you with everything, knowing that you listen, oh God, and that you have the power to make a difference and to make a change or to add on or to even celebrate with us, oh God. And so God, we come before you laying our concerns uh, before you. As you come in, go ahead and put your prayer requests up. We're praying at this time. Father God, first of all, we pray, oh God, first of all, we just want to say thank you. We want to thank you for life, health, and strength. We want to thank you for food, clothing, and shelter. We want to thank you for being so kind and so good and so loving to us, oh God. We are so grateful. You did not have to do it, but you did. You provided a roof over our heads and you provided a place for us to sleep, oh God. Some of us have even been increasing during this time. Many of us lost loved ones, oh God, but you've comforted us. You've been there for us. You've made the load a little bit easier because you you surrounded us with people who love us and who support us, oh God. And sometimes when we didn't feel like uh, doing for ourselves, you sent somebody who would help to do for us, oh God. And we're so grateful. We're so thankful. If you're thankful, go ahead and put that in the chat box. Go ahead and respond. Let us know what you are thankful for. God, we do want you to forgive us for our sins, the things that we have done wrong, the things that we have not, uh, we've missed the mark. We just have not done and lived up to what we should, oh God. But the word says, if we were to confess our sins, that you would be just to cleanse us from all unrighteousness. You would forgive us, oh God. And we, we thank you so much for that. And now, Father, we lay before you all of the names that we've uh, put before you, oh God, before this prayer started. God, you know their circumstances. You know their conditions. You know what they stand in the need of. You know what's going on in their lives, oh God. And so, God, we lay them on the altar, knowing that you will connect with them. If they're celebrating, oh God, we all celebrate. We know that you're celebrating with them. Some of us are just having a Thanksgiving prayer at this moment. It's, we just have nothing but joy and praises to sing to you. But some of us, oh God, are in trouble and we need a savior. We need someone to get us out of this. We know our mother loves us, our friend loves us, but they can't help us. We need you, oh God, to hear our prayer. And God, we pray that you will listen to the prayer and that you will rescue those who need rescuing on today. God, some of us are sick, God, and we pray that you heal the sick bodies, oh God, in the name of Jesus, those who are suffering in so many ways, <clears throat> whether it be physically, psychologically, mentally, emotionally, oh God, financially, oh God, so many are sick in so many different areas of their lives. Oh God, we pray right now for them in the name of Jesus. God, we pray for those <clears throat> who need a, a supernatural situation to happen, oh God, something out of the ordinary, something that they can't work for them or work for themselves on, something that only you can do, oh God. They can't even do not one thing to help this situation out. They need you, God, we pray, oh God. 
that you will hear us, God, as we pray. God, we pray over Lakeisha Mosley, oh God, as she's come on to the broadcast. Touch her and her family, oh God, in the name of Jesus. God, we pray for little mama Hawkins as she comes on to the broadcast. Touch her, oh God, in a supernatural way. All those who are watching this, all these numbers whose faces I do not see, but they always tune in, oh God. Touch them. The replay viewers, God, touch them right now in the name of Jesus. All of the people who will watch this on, on the replay virally as a result of a share, God, touch them now. You know what it is that they stand in the need of. And now, God, we pray for those who may not have um, been able to leave their prayer requests up. Possibly it was too embarrassing or maybe too personal to share with anyone. God, we know you know all about it. We know that you care. You told us to cast our cares upon you because you care for us. We know that you want to hear all about it and you're the only one who can do anything about it. And so, God, we lay it at your feet knowing whatever answer you give us, whether it's yes, no, or wait a minute, it's going to be better than what we've ever expected. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen, amen, and amen. Good to see you, little Mama Hawkins. Good to see you, darling. Good to see you, Lakeisha. Guys, thank you guys so much for tuning in. I wish I could see all of the people who are watching and not responding, but God bless you. <laughs> Good to see you all today. I pray that you guys are well. I just want to give you a little word of encouragement and then I'm going to move on. Um, I've got a lot of things, a lot of things going on in the background of what I do. And so let me see if I got a link here uh, that I can share with you. There's a couple of things I want to share with you before I give you a word of encouragement and before we go. Yes, this is a short broadcast. I'm trying to get back to my 30 minutes and we're at the halfway point right now. <laughs> you know, see how time goes by so quick. So I'm trying to get to my half an hour, um, what I used to do or something like that. 20 minutes would be, would, would be just fine as well. But I want to remind you, many of you guys know about my website. So make sure you definitely, if you don't know anything else, go to the website. But if you want digital products, e-courses and e-books and different things like that, go to bit.ly forward slash shop Tony. It's case sensitive. So make sure that you put it into your browser exactly the way you see it. However, if anything goes wrong, always go back to wisecourtship.com because it's going to connect you to everything. Okay. <laughs> It's going to connect you to everything. But I also want to remind all of you who are into starting businesses um, and you want to start creating streams of income. We live in turbulent at times. And I have always been a business owner. Even when I worked for other people, I was a business owner. I've always had different streams of income and it has blessed me over the years. And so this is the most inexpensive way that I can teach about that where we have a group of people who come together and they learn it. We swap. Many people are very experienced all the way to novices. And um, our mastermind sessions are worth more than what you pay in your membership. The membership is less than 67 cents a day. If you go on the top level, okay, if you go on the low level, it's like 37 cents a day. Both of them is are ridiculously inexpensive. So make sure you go to bit.ly forward slash hustle hub. That's bit.ly forward slash H-U-S-T-L-E-H-U-B-E. H-U-B, no E. <laughs> make sure you go to that. Okay, so let's go on for some encouragement and we're going to move on because I know that you guys have so much to do as well as I. I want you to pray for me, however, I'm sorry, I'm giving you the scripture again. I meant to give you the encouragement button. What's going on with me today? Um, I want to, um, you know, just keep me in prayer. I got a lot of stuff going on behind the scenes that is all good. It's really all good. Um, and many of you know, too, that I do act and perform. And, you know, there's a new thing now where um, you can't talk about the project or anything, <clears throat> even after you've gotten the role. You really can't talk about it a lot of times until it's released. And if you're doing something like a drama series, which many of you love, and I do too, um, you can't talk about it 
pretty much at all because you know you don't want they, they don't want the script to get out and all of that but i want you guys to keep me in prayer the lord has been really really good to me and a lot of things are opening up a lot of things are going on and i'm not able to to talk about it and i kind of hate it in one way because i like to journal and have you guys go along with me but as far as wise courtship is concerned i want to thank all of you who've been coming every first and third saturdays on our zoom session um, to to learn about the I'm sorry about, yeah that was right the first I see that wise courtship in the back so you can learn about the yeah there we go boom boom <laughs> boom boom the wise courtship philosophy so make sure you join us every first and third go to wisecourtship.com or um look out for some postings from me on social media well darlings let's go ahead with the encouragement i want to encourage you on this day and hopefully you will take it with you this week that god is still in the blessing business god is doing so much you know just because we're in a holding pattern does not mean that god is not moving does that mean that things are not working out for our favor does it mean that he does not have our best interest at heart and that's why it's so important dear ones i hope you hear me on today that's why it's so important to be obedient you know sometimes people expect god just to speak through a cloud but sometimes he speaks through his leaders okay and you will be right where you need to be if you're obedient okay as long as they're not asking you to to uh to uh go against god you know it's best for you to be obedient in a lot of things and sometimes when we're asked to be sheltered in place we need to go ahead and shelter in place because we don't know what god is doing we don't know how he's moving but just because you shelter in place doesn't mean that you don't need to plan you don't need to read you don't need to study you don't need to collaborate you don't need to connect you can still do all of that we need to move by faith okay and not by sight it may seem like everything around you is falling apart but that doesn't mean it's going to fall apart it doesn't mean that it's going to break apart or maybe if it is falling apart maybe it's getting to the meat of the matter to what is actually more important maybe it's going to disintegrate down to what is necessary but whatever the case is god still knows what he's doing and he's still in charge and we have to learn how to walk by faith y'all hear me those on the overflow those in those numbers where i don't see your face thank you so much for joining listen we've got to learn dear ones how to have faith in god how to walk by faith and not by sight and if god said something that he was going to do for you no matter what it looks like on the outside you better hold on to that word you better believe that and keep working toward it if he's been showing you you're going to do something <clears throat> go ahead and work toward that and stop paying attention to what's going on the outside we have to be aware we still got to wear our masks we still got to do whatever's asked of us to do but that does not mean that this is the end it's not over until god actually says that it is over and so dear ones i just want to leave you with that encouraging word i want to thank again everyone who watches me on all these various platforms you guys have been awesome and amazing um and i'll probably next week i'll see how i can keep this 30 minutes or 20 or 30 minutes and um move on because there's so much i got going on i know you got so much going on too i love you guys so very much look we at 19 minutes we better do it celebrate <laughs> thank you everyone who's watching listening to me via the podcast know that i love you guys so much but listen in the interim you can visit me on the web at www.wisecourtship.com i'm on social media just about everywhere as wise courtship or Tony Henderson Mayers, all you have to do is Google me. Just know that I love you and there's nothing you can do about it. This is Tony. Remember, I um, in the, this day and age of alternative facts, things spinning way out of control. God is still in control. He still sits on his throne. And until Jesus comes back, that's right. We got to learn to watch, fight, and pray. Take care. Well, hello there, each and every one of you. Thank you so much for tuning in. Make sure you like this video, subscribe to this channel, and ring that bell. Click it for me so that you will know anytime I upload a new video.